Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. All right, today we're gonna to look at Sharp ESP from Jonathan Friedman and Nonplus Productions. All right, Sharp ESP, what is it? It is a multiple out device. It's a multiple out device that uses a Sharpie marker. Sharpie, Sharp ESP. It's a multiple out device that uses the five ESP uh, figures. The square, the star, wavy lines, circle, yeah. And don't worry if you don't have uh, Zener cards right now, you don't have ESP cards, that's okay, because the way the routine goes is that you just use uh, business cards, right? You can use your business cards, or uh, you can use just blank billets that you just cut up and use. Pretty much how the trick goes is you bring out a set of business cards, take your Sharpie marker, and then you just make your own. You make your own uh, ESP cards, and you make all the different symbols. You write uh, on the cards, and you, and you make them out. And then you lay them all on the table, shuffle them up, uh, and you have the spectator stare at them. And then you can use your finger as a magic wand, or you can use the Sharpie as a magic wand and wave it over the cards, and just have the spectator say, stop, wherever they like. Wherever they stop, that's where you stop. There's absolutely no force. There's no force because it's a multiple out pen. The pen's going to predict whatever the spectator selects. Uh, spectator selects circle, let's say. You then ask them if it's a free choice, and then you take the Sharpie marker and you twist the barrel, breaking the Sharpie marker apart. You pull out a little note and you show them that you had predicted that they would pick the circle. It's pretty much how the trick goes in its best form, obviously because it's a multiple out device. Uh, not every out has the same impact, but they're all there. And just to be upfront with you, just to be honest, uh, out of all the outs, two of them are the best because you do the little note thing where you uh, take the pen apart and you show them there's a little note, they're predicted, but there's only two outs out of the five that do that. The rest of the outs are all revealed as like hidden graphics on the pen barrel itself. All right, so a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews and the first of which is, what is in the box? Uh, you're getting a little tiny cardboard sleeve inside that. You're getting the non-working, let's emphasize that, non-working gimmicked pen, gimmick pen, and you're getting the download code to the video. The video is roughly 20 minutes long. Is it what I thought? Uh, yes and no. I, um, I, when I heard it was a multiple out pen, I kind of figured that it would be some sort of graphic on the outside made to look like uh, the word Sharpie, but it really says something else something like that. Uh, there's, there's been some tricks like that before. I wasn't expecting the twist on the barrel, taking it apart and the note inside. That was a cool reveal. How are the angles on this? Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, it'll require you to be able to do a paddle move so that you can show the pen the same from both sides, but that's it. All right, so can it be inspected? Uh, no, like we say around here, the, we don't hand out gaff items, right? We don't hand those out. I mean, there's nothing to find, but you wouldn't want them to see one of the other outs because then I think they'd figure it out. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it's filmed a little uh, homemade, right? It's filmed a little bit on the uh, moderate side. Uh, you got a over the shoulder shot looking down at a table and uh, what looks like a bandana. Uh, there's some classical music in the background. And again, I didn't need the music. I think it kind of pulls away uh, from Seth Race's voice because I think Seth's already talking kind of quietly. And so the music in the background kind of almost matches the volume level. And so it's hard to hear him sometimes. As far as what's taught on the video, he's gonna go over what's in the box. He's gonna cover the gimmick. He's gonna talk about setting up the gimmick. He's gonna go over all the multiple outs and then he'll give you some performance tips and some last minute credits. Is it well made? It's very well made. It looks exactly like a Sharpie. It's made out of the same materials. It's the same colors. Side by side, it should hold its merit. How much practice does it require? Um, none. 
because it's just a multiple out device. Uh, technically, you could use this in conjunction with any uh, ESP trick that you already do. You don't need to do the pen aspect of it or, or the business cards if you already have Zener cards. Uh, this could be a kicker or, you know, it could be an out for you just in case the spectator doesn't pick the thing you want. Uh, it's a great tool. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, there's the two handwritten predictions. You have to make those yourself, load those yourself. And then after that, I mean, you only really need the Zenner cards or the blank business cards and you're off to the races. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to this? Uh, I like it. I like the fact that you're combining another uh, element to ESP cards. I think whenever I do ESP tricks, I don't have anything else. I just have the deck, right? And um, I have a way of doing a multiple out personally by using the box that the ESP cards come in because some of the symbols are on the box and then I've opened the tuck flap and written uh, a prediction on the inside tuck flap. So I've done a multiple out before with my box, but maybe there's one or two that aren't as strong. So maybe this would be a good way to combine it with the pen so that I have a strong out for all of them. So I think if you already do ESP card tricks or you have some center cards or you do the pendulum trick over the ESP uh, cards, this could be a great tool to add to your routine. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? Uh, you know, magic houses and magicians, they send me stuff for free all the time. They want me to review it. Of course, they want me to say nice things so that they can sell their product. But at the same time, I wanna be honest with you, I gotta be unbiased so that you spend your money the best way, because it's your money, right? It's your money and nothing's worse than ordering something in the mail and getting it and going, this is not what I expected. Um, with this, I think I've been totally upfront with you through the whole video. I've given you everything. I'm really not hiding anything. There's nothing else that I'm not saying. Does that make sense? Um, I've given it all to you. So if this sounds like something you'd like, I, I think you would like it. Is it worth your money? It's 20 bucks. And 20 bucks isn't a bad price for a custom printed uh, Sharpie marker. I mean, I can't imagine the cost on that. I mean. Yeah, but I, I think you're getting what you're paying for. And I certainly think that if you take care of it, it could last you a good long time. Who would like this? Uh, I see this right away going into mentalist routines, ESP routines, and street magic. I think those, those areas, uh, just the fact that you can stick it in your pocket, right? The pen goes in your pocket easily. Zener cards, you only need five. Uh, that's good in your pocket. It's a quick, fast ESP routine that has a nice kicker. All right, so it's everything I can say about Sharp ESP from Jonathan Friedman, Seth Race, Nonplus Productions. I want to thank Seth Race for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, I would highly recommend heading down to penguinmagic.com.